Well, hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Charlton Daly of Manchester. We're together again. Thank you for joining me. Our theme for this week is Songs for the Journey. We're looking at Psalm 121 to 127, Seven Days of Psalms. These are some of the songs they would sing on the way to Jerusalem or when they got there for worship. For day two, we are at Psalm 122. Picture the psalmist David as he sits down to write, maybe in a private room. As he enters in and closes the door, it is automatically known that he must not be disturbed. He is physically there in this room, his personal temple, while his thoughts are in the actual temple in Jerusalem, the meeting place with Jehovah. The events of the journey are still fresh in his mind. The worship experiences are stamped in his memory. They are easily recalled because it was a pleasure to participate in them. Joy fills his heart the more he thought about it, and so he writes, I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. When the news came, the reminder for this road trip, there was an eagerness, a longing. He was looking forward to this time of worship. I was glad, he said, when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Are you glad about going to the Lord's house? Or are you sad that Sunday or Saturday comes so suddenly, comes around again so quickly? Do you enjoy your time of worship? So much so that you show up early with gladness, coming before his presence with singing. Well, do you? Hopefully the psalmist will inspire you to sing a new song on your worship journey today. A song changed from complaining to praising, from sadness to gladness. David further declared, Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. He was not just coming to a building. He was coming into the presence of the Lord, and this was his desire. He must have known that there is no better place to be than in the house of the Lord. And when you're in the house of the Lord, there is no better place to be than in the presence of the Lord, because you can be in his house, but not in his presence. Never be satisfied with just going to the building. Go into his presence. David continues, Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribe go up, the tribes of the Lord, to the testimony of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, for thrones are set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Each year there were three main worship festivals that required the tribes of Israel to attend, Passover, the Day of Atonement, that is Yom Kippur, and the Feast of Tabernacle. Jerusalem would be a happening place, the city to be at these times of the year. People travel from the east side, west side, north side, south side, all coming together to meet on God's side. Meeting where the temple was with the Ark of the Covenant that represents the presence of God. Then David's song seems to change its tone to a prayerful plea. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, he said. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls. Prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brethren and companions, I will now say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. Oh, that there would be peace in our places of worship, a peace that transcends division and separation among God's people. Psalm 34 and 14 says, Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. That is, you should go after it. Be relentless in acquiring it. Don't stop until you arrive at it. Yes, seek peace. When an orchestra is preparing to perform and everyone is getting their instruments ready, playing their own tune, it sounds confusing to the ear. But when the conductor is in place with eyes fixed on him and they follow his direction, playing in harmony, it is a sweet sound to the ear. May we as a church create sweet music with a new song, starting with gladness and finding its conclusion at a place of peace. Thank you for listening. Let us get together again tomorrow for more Bread of Life 
with our theme, Songs for the Journey. You've been listening to Pastor Charlton Daly of Manchester, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.